Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to listen to the little nuances uh, between an A2 Alnico magnet and the A5. The earlier PAFs and the Les Pauls uh, were A2s. They don't have quite as much output um, and they don't have quite as much top end to them. I've kind of adjusted these two guitars so they have the same output. This one has the A2s, this one has the A5s, and this is not a regular Les Paul Custom. This does have a maple top, mahogany body, and a rosewood fingerboard, just like a standard does. So good guitars for comparing. Um, so the more iconic recordings that we all relate to, like Clapped and the Beano Burst, uh, Jimmy Page's Les Paul, Paul Kossoff. Most of the stuff we've heard are the 59 Les Pauls that have the hotter pickups in them and the A5 magnets. So here we start with the A2's neck position. <laughs> These are the A5s. It has a little more stingier top end to it. in the chords of the A5 have a little more separation and distinction to them. It doesn't get as muddy, even at the full distortion like that. There's just a bit more clarity to the A5s. Hopefully you can hear the difference. 
I certainly can. Again, a little more top end. Seems like there's a, a just a little more top end harmonic there in the A5. What I like about the A5s, and this is why I prefer them, is that you can always roll the tone back a hair to get that A2 sound, but you can't add more high end or top end clarity. So slight differences between the magnets and the pickups, but you know, not much. If you don't have two to AB, you'd probably never hear it, but there you go. A2 magnets, A5s, and PAS.